up everybody it's titanium feet jack and i'm back at you again with another video we're going to take a look at a sneaker that uh piqued my interest uh when it released uh last week or week before and we're going to also take a look at some items i picked up off the supreme drop i believe it was week two but before we get into all that i need a couple things from you guys i need you to hit that like button on today's video also sub up to the channel if you haven't already do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i come back with another video and leave a comment down below in the comment section let me know your thoughts on the sneaker that we're about to look at today uh before we get into that sneaker i did mention earlier that i did uh hit on a couple items on the supreme uh the supreme drop i believe it was week two uh I did get me a pair of the uh, Supreme socks. Nothing hype. They're uh, actually still sitting at the time of me recording this video. And I also bought me a pair of a pack of the box of briefs. Always could use a fresh pair of drawers. You know what I'm saying? And I picked up the little shoulder bag when I'm moving around this summer on vacation. I already had a little red shoulder bag. Now I picked up an orange, you know, the bright summer colors. And we did get a few different Supreme stickers with these. This the original box logo. And this is the Futura style Supreme logo. Now the main event, here is the bag. I hate when they ship me shoes and they don't uh, double box them, but they did ship them in the bag. It is not Nike, uh, and it's not Jordan, and it's not Adidas, but we have reviewed this uh, brand on this channel. I'm just gonna tear into the bag. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Nothing spectacular. Go ahead and slide it up. No packing slip in the bag. Throw that aside. Okay. Here you go, guys. It's the box. There you go. A pair of Saucony Originals. I'm going to read the uh, label for you guys. You see it's grid shadow too. The color is black and green. This is a US size 14 and I actually got a discount on these. I think I got these for like 121 shipped. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh this is a theme sneaker, it's themed for a holiday that's actually coming up in the month of March. And you can see your boy, I'm dressed for the occasion. If you like this shirt, it's on SeasonSoul.com. It's linked down below in the description box. Uh, fold over box lid. You got a live stamp and a sticker in here. And uh, let's sit this down. Okay. I see what y'all working with. Y'all working with a little something, something. Oh. And you do have a clear white tissue, or transparent white tissue, I should say. And that's all that is in the box. You can see you got a red uh, trim going around with the Saucony's logo. And here we go, guys. We have the Saucony Shadow Grid 2 St. Patrick's Day. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. And you know your boy is St. Patrick's Day ready. So we're going to go ahead and get a little deeper into the review. Yes, guys. Here's an on-the-foot look of the Saucony Shadow Grid 2 the St. Patrick's Day of... Uh, I anticipated that there was going to be a little snug because 
when I tried on the J-Tips pair, they were really exact, but the J-Tips pair are mostly mesh, unlike this pair. But uh, the sizing, I definitely would go true to size on these. Uh, these, I feel like I got more room in these versus the uh, J-Tips pair. And uh, I have on a much thicker sock. So, uh, definitely go true to size in these. Uh, but they feel pretty comfortable, though. I'm definitely going to get uh, some wear out of these this upcoming St. Patrick's Day. But uh, this is an on the foot look. That's the back of, them, of the Saucony Shadow Grid 2, the uh, St. Patrick's Day. Here we go, guys. We have the Saucony Shadow Grid 2. The St. Patrick's Day. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Uh, I saw the sneaker pop up on Twitter. The link actually. Uh, and I was like. Mm, I already have a couple pairs of St. Patrick's Day shoes. Let me go ahead and add one more. And uh, I had second thoughts. But when I saw the discount code. I could get them for 120 bucks ship. Why not? So we're gonna get into it. We have several different types of materials on here. This sneak is made on an all black base. You have a mesh base on this upper and you do have some black leather and I might add quality soft leather as well. You do have that lime color green hit right here which displays the sock and its logo and you do have like a little rough or uh, textured leather underneath right here and of course the course the black mesh excuse me you have a green molded eyelet right here and you do have a nice grain of suede with this uh pattern going on right here on your upper your midsole is almost like a a soft white or a sail colorway on your midsole and you do see there's a uh design on your midsole and at the very bottom there's a translucent green on your outsole and here you go this is the outsole uh you have a translucent green outsole you have that hit right there in white with the sock and the uh logo right there and these are glowing i want to do these glowing the okay dark. guys i tried to glow in the dark test uh I could not get these to glow in the dark. So we're gonna look at the rear of the sneaker. You can see grid is uh is embossed in your uh your midsole and you do see you have a gold uh design right a gold diamond right here and then you have some embroidery going on here. I'm assuming this is full leaf clover and we're gonna go uh Correction, not for these clovers. This is something else pertaining to St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to go around to the media side of the sneaker. You uh, see a display of that black leather and you can see it soft, very soft to the touch. And you see that green molded eye that and you see you got some mesh going on there as well. You got your sock in it right there. This material feels like a nice... Uh, nice uh batch of leather as well and you got like that textured leather right here that matches that green almost like a lime colorway and you do have like an iris green suede going on here at the bottom and also at the toe box you can see that translucent hit right there and you a little closer you can also see there is a mesh toe box the sneaker does come stuffed with tissue and you do get two sets of laces with these. You have the black laces and you can see you have the green laces. You do have a mesh tongue and to the very top of the tongue you can see you have an embroidered full leaf clover or embroidered St. Patrick's Day design on here. Let's see you got the uh, tag on the back of the tongue right there let's see if we can read it do we have any information on it say us 5 i'm sorry us size 14 these are made in vietnam we do not have any production date on it we do have a barcode i'm sorry a qr code on here 
you do have a black sock liner made of like a tissue i'm sorry like a cloth type material and your inserts do come out you do have that iris green insert and you got the same pad as the clover and gold on here and this is what the bottom of it looks like both shoes are exactly the same and you know i'm probably gonna be rocking these st patrick's day actually falls on the sunday this upcoming year and down in new Orleans, that is a national holiday called super sunday so maybe a lot of people out at uh super sunday with their green on so let me know what you think of this sneaker this is the sock and a shadow grid to st patrick's day let me know your thoughts on this sneaker down below and I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.